This video is for the palpation of teres major. So the first thing I'm going to do is again try to outline the lateral border of our scapula. So if the person is able to, I can take their hand and put it into the small of the back. I'm going to have to try to completely relax their muscles of the shoulder. Excellent. So you can easily see our inferior angle here and I'm going to palpate all along that lateral border. So from top to bottom. Again, the lateral border is often split between teres minor, which is more superior on it, versus teres major, which is more inferior. So depending on your reference source, a lot of people will say the inferior two thirds of the lateral border of the scapula is the origin of teres major. So right along here. Now I'm gonna take my partner's hand, and I'm gonna actually hang it off the table like so, and again, reorient myself. So here's that inferior angle, and I'm going to go up along that lateral border. And then I'm with my other hand, I'm going to reach down and give him resistance to his wrist and forearm, as I'm going to ask him to do this medial rotation. So whenever you're ready, good. And a lot of people, you can actually quite easily see it, um, Terry's major is sticking up, so go ahead, right there. And so Terry's major muscle is heading towards our axilla. Um, but at this point, it's actually starting to get kind of blended and meets up with latissimus dorsi. So you have to be careful, especially as we're heading in towards that axilla, that you're not grabbing all of the muscle tissue that's sitting in this part of the scapula and kind of axilla, um, that you're mainly trying to isolate just the teres major component of it. So as we start heading in towards the axilla, The muscle is going to go through the axilla and heading to what is known as the bicipital groove and teres major inserts into the medial lip of the bicipital groove. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to fully medially rotate his arm. I'm going to rest his arm on the table here. I'm going to ask him just to lift his hand up towards the ceiling a little bit for me. Good. And I'm going to follow that into the axilla. I'm going to ask him to do that again. Good. And at this point right in here, you actually can start to feel the neurovascular bundle for the brachial plexus. Um, and the pulse location is showing it are getting really, really close to that medial aspect of the arm. So take caution as you're pushing in this area because it might become very uncomfortable or even painful. Now, you can feel the insertion of teres major from the prone position, but it's actually easier for us to visually see it from the supine position. We have our person in supine. I'm going to be looking for teres muscle, so I'm going to bring his arm all the way up above his head, and right in this area you can actually feel the inferior angle of the scapula sticking up. So as I go along it here, I'm actually on that lateral border, that inferior lateral border of the scapula, which is where teres major originates. I'm going to have my person try to do some medial rotation, bring his arm down towards the table. Good. Good, and as he does that, I can easily start to feel a nice roll of muscle, teres, meaning round or tubular, and I'm gonna follow that right up towards the axilla. You're gonna to start to lose it at this point as it starts to go underneath biceps brachii, but it's heading towards the bicipital groove, specifically the medial lip. So with my other finger here, I'm gonna find the long head tendon of his biceps brachii, which is here. And I'm gonna ask my person to slowly, medially rotate their arm down towards the table. And as he does so, that biceps tendon gets closer and closer towards my finger. So you can kind of see how teres is gonna bring that bicepital groove closer towards the posterior scapula. So the insertion is actually right up underneath pectoralis major here. And that is on the medial lip of the bicepital groove. I'm gonna ask him to do medial rotation against some resistance, excellent. And right in here, I can feel the tightening up of teres major. It's gonna be harder to distinguish what is latissimus dorsi, which is actually sitting a little more anterior to teres, as the two of them basically blend together to insert in a very similar location on that medial lip of the bicipital groove. 